embrace the abundant life. And sometimes, unfortunately, the abundant life doesn't always exist in Orlando, as hard as that is to believe. <laughs> Megan has graduated from seminary in May, and she's been seeking full-time employment. And she has been living in Atlanta for the last few years, and she has found full-time employment there. And so uh, she's going to be leaving us as the Minister of Community Connections as a part-time position and embracing with us a quarter time position of the minister of virtual connection <laughs> and so she will still be connecting us virtually with uh, facebook and things like that and and just connect, continuing to connect us from afar um but we are grateful for the many many um years that we have been blessed by your ministry and by your heart um we come from the same place um, and we share the same genes, but she got the niceness one, and I didn't. <laughs> but somebody's got to be nice, and I'm grateful that Megan got that gift from our family. But um, we, we want to leave you, Megan, with a, a small gift of joy to remind you of the hope that we have here um, and that you can wear proudly where you go. Uh, and we know that... Um, God told me there, you know, it's um, God's brought so many special people through joy. And I so want to hold on to every single one of them, but that's not what God's called us to do. And we, we bring them in, but we also grow them up, and then we send them out to the world to create altars wherever we go. So may God continue to use you to create more and more altars in this world. This is from us at Joy.
We go forth from this place. We move out of scarcity. And we trust that even when God is moving others forward, we have much work to do as we embrace this abundance and create these altars where we go. When we do it, we give Jesus to somebody new. Let's go give it to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.